Okay everyone, so in this video I'm gonna test out the new NB Miner 39.7 on HiveOS. I'm gonna use my uh, GPU RTX uh, 3060 Ti LHR card. This one is a uh, Gigabyte RTX GeForce 3060 Ti Eagle OCHG with the Samsung memory, alright? But uh, you can also use other memories as well. Okay, so let's log into your HiveOS account. Let's go into your farm, go into the worker. We're gonna go to flight sheet right here and go to this one, flight sheets. Now we're gonna go and select a coin. I'm gonna select uh, Ethereum. We're gonna select a wallet. If you don't have a wallet, you can just click on add wallet and you can add your wallet address. So I'm using a hardware wallet, uh, Ledger. Uh, I'm using uh, this one, Ledger Nano X. So this is a more secure way to store your cryptocurrency because this one is offline and you own the key. Instead of a hot wallet, they own the key and it's online, okay? So I'm just gonna go and get my uh, Ethereum wallet address from my Ledger Nano X. You find the link in the description if you'd like to buy this yourself. Also disclaimer, this one is an uh, affiliate link. That means I will get a small commission if you buy through my link. But also at the same time, it supports my channel. So just paste your wallet address right here. After that, just go and name this one. After that, you can save this as a global wallet if you want to use this in multiple uh, farms. And just go and create this one. I'm just gonna go and select the wallet. After that, we're gonna go and select the pool. I'm using uh, Ethermine, but you can use whatever you like. And we're gonna choose a pool server. So just choose the one that are the closest to you. In my case, it's Europe. After that, just go down and click on apply. Then we have miner. So we're gonna use NB miner. This one. And this one is for NVIDIA and AMD cards. We're gonna name this NB Miner Flight Sheet, but you can name this to whatever you like. After that, just go and click on Create Flight Sheet, like so. Now we're gonna go into Workers. Go into the worker, click on flight sheet, and we're gonna select the one that we just uh, created, so this one. Let's go to the right and click on this rocket. Click on apply. Now we can go to overview, and we see my card right here, GeForce RTX 3060 Ti Samsung memory, okay? We're gonna go to the right, and we're gonna overclock this one and see how much we can get. We click on this uh, icon. And now we're gonna add some core clock, memory clock, fan speed, and power limit. We're gonna go to hashrate.no. I'm gonna go to this one, LHR. We're gonna go down to 3060Ti. We're gonna go down to Ethereum. So this one. Now we can choose to overclock low, medium, high, or for high nix. I want to overclock high, so I'm gonna use these settings. We have 1600. 3,165, just to see how much we can get. But in your case, you may choose low, medium, and also disclaimer, you overclock your GPU at your own risk. And if you have Hynix, you're gonna use these overclocking settings. And for this, you will expect about 40 MHz per second. With the Samsung memory, you can expect up to 45 plus MHz per second. So we got uh, 3,600,165. Let's go back to HiveOS. We have uh, 1,600 for core. We have memory clock, 3,000. We have fan speed. I'm gonna set it to 100%. And after that, we can lower this uh, when we see the temperature of the car. Power limit, 165. Okay, let's go down to the right and click on apply. Okay, so just wait about two to five minutes and see how much you can get with these settings. Okay everyone, so I have waited about 15 uh, minutes and we get about 45.49 MHz per second 
the same as uh, we see in hashrate.no for high overclocking. So 45.29, if you want to do medium it's 43.89, for low we have 42.50. Depends on how hard you will overclock your settings. All right. And we also got uh, 48 uh, Celsius, so we can lower this uh, fan speed. Let's go one more time to this icon, and you can try to set this to auto if you like, or a fixed amount. I'm gonna set this to 80. And after that, just go down and click on apply. And we have the power consumption at about 130 watts. Okay, everyone, so this is my results for the new NB Miner 39.7 using my RTX 3060 Ti LHR card with a memory type Samsung. Also, if you'd like to join our Discord server, you find the link in the description. We are all about mining, here you can get some help. So in this case, if you use 3060 Ti, you can just go to this one, overclocking LHR cards, go to 3060 Ti, and here you can ask for help and things like that. Okay, everyone, so have an awesome day. Take care and bye.